to meet you. So we want to know, with this being the Neighborhood Awards, what's one of your fondest memories from the neighborhood that you grew up in? Um, just, you know, honestly, I like the simple things, riding our bikes down the hill to see who could go the quickest, see who could go the fastest, you know what I mean? It's like the simple things like that that I remember. Um, going to the tennis court, it's like a little court in our, in our apartment building, yeah. and just all the kids gathering around and just being silly, honestly, okay. yeah. Okay, so you guys had the world premiere of season three, right? We had a season three screening of okay. one of the episodes that, that get, uh, Salt and Pepper get started, yeah. Okay, so, so tell us a little bit about the new season. It's just like the show just keeps getting better and better. The the, the chemistry and the rhythm keeps it just keeps growing. So um, honestly, the the third season we have more guest stars. Obviously, um, Omar's character Tony, they start showing his workplace a lot more. So we get into all that. Um, my character's still silly and crazy and and, and and just quirky and weird, which I like because I or I. I identify with that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's just a really good season. We have Michelle Williams of Destiny's Child. She she came through and just did a couple things. We have some really good guest stars and really good comedians, comics. The thing about comics is they, they just have really no filter. So they just really add so much to everything they do, you know? Um, and the guest stars, oh, awesome. I mean, we have Michelle Williams, we get Salt and Pepper. Uh, I do a little flashback thing where I'm uh, kicking back to the old school where I used to hang out with Mr. Cooper. So we got Mark Curry. Uh, we bring in Jason Weaver. Oh man, tons of people, a bunch of people that I forgot. They're gonna be like, how do you holler at me? But, uh, <laughs> but it was real for Alex Thomas. A lot of comics too, so it's really, really funny this season. Funny, funny, funny. Absolutely. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you. Fondest memories from the neighborhood that you guys grew up in? Um, okay, well, my neighborhood, my fondest memories, I would say, well, it was in East Point off Washington Road. Now, um, that's where I grew up. And just all the kids being outside playing all the time. Like, they don't do that no more. Right, they don't do that no more. My mom, I used to have to be in by the street lights. And they came on, and if I wasn't, my mom would be at the front door screaming my name across the whole neighborhood until I got back. <laughs> What's your fondest memory? I would say playing in a fire hydrant. You know, in New York, they used to open a fire hydrant up. You find a, you know, a random bottle or something, scoop some water off the ground, throw it in each other's face. But it was good old fun. It was nasty. When you yeah, look back, it was gross. the best. Yeah, that no, was the best. Girls, we need to swap. We need to swap. We need to know who you're about it. Yes, everything is fabulous. Girl, come on. You really want to know who these shoes are about? I walked into Aldo. And I said to Aldo, I need a gladiator with a pump, okay? And I need something that will fit a 10 foot. And they said, Miss Ralph, here it is. I got it on sale. And padow, loving it, badoo. Thank you. So with this being the Neighborhood Awards, can you tell us one of your fondest memories from the neighborhood you grew up in? Well, first of all, let me tell you something about why this event is important. Because in times like this, with all the things we've got going on, it is important for someone to shine the light on the neighborhood so that people understand and see that we are worthy, that we are doing good things, that we are strong people. We can make it happen. And there's nothing wrong with us. So to all those plain old grassroots people who are living in the hood, doing the right thing every day, tonight is very important for them. So that's why I'm here to celebrate those folks who against all odds are still waking up in the hood and saying, guess what? I'm straight out of this hood. Yes. 